driver's license? Don't have any. She doesn't even have a license plate. They rattle. You know, you caused us a little problem back there? Why? Why? Why what? Well, you knew we'd catch you. I feel sorry for you. Look, miss, you don't seem to understand. Sorry. Sorry. For me? Oh, sitting there all day behind the wheel with your tight collar and nothing to listen to all day but code numbers and people's troubles. You look so bored. Smoke? The boys tell me that you were kind of tearing up the turf. 92 miles an hour on 2nd Avenue, 96 on Grant Road. I believe that's a record. I wasn't trying for the record. Then what did you have in mind? I told him. She felt that my life lacked excitement. Oh. <laughs> well, it was very thoughtful of you, Miss, uh, Miss... Vicky. Vicky what? <laughs> Isn't that the truth? What am I? Who am I? I ask myself that ten million times a day. It's unanswerable. Around here, we make a business of getting the answers. That's too bad, because what's important is giving them. Okay, give. What am I? A gallery of people. But which one? Somewhere between thought and not. Changing mind, changing mood. Changing. Who is she? Let me see your wallet. Well, she doesn't carry any papers. No papers? No driver's license, no registration, no social security card, no credit cards, <laughs> no papers. Don't you see? Papers are so static. All they can do is identify at the moment of their issue. But an hour later, you're not you. Not the you you were an hour before. So the papers are obsolete, invalid. Why pin yourself in place? I always take hey, inventory on the 28th right now, of every month, see? I'm on the Chinese vases. I look around and I see you. Wait, you can talk look about it. Look, I told you 25 times. I saw you driving through my store. I just don't Let's seem to be able to get through to you. Will you tell him? Buzz. Will you tell him? Ever been arrested before? I'm arrested by everything I see. Everything I taste. Look, miss, to these questions you just answer yes or no. Now, you're in a pot of trouble and you better start realizing. Now, yes or no, have you ever been arrested before? Yes. Where? New York. For what? For keeping pet unicorns. Unicorns? It was such a small apartment, there was no room for a closet. Where else could I hang my things except on the unicorns? 
Are you sure she hasn't been drinking? Oh, she blew up every balloon we had in the kit, Sheriff. They all came back sober. Sunstroke, maybe. Amnesia. Just to set the record straight, young lady, I happen to know that there are no such things as unicorns. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. They're mythical animals, just creatures of somebody's imagination. Aren't we all? Booker and printer and lock her up. Margaret, get me the psychiatric section of the county hospital, Dr. Bell. She deliberately forced us off the road. Go ahead, Buzz, tell him. Well, frankly, I hate to swear to it. I mean, you know how it is. Everybody looks alike on a motorcycle. It was eight feet, ten and a half by eight feet, ten and a half. All right. <clears throat> What's the estimate of your damage? I'll be right back. Buzz. Forget it, will you? What? I've seen that look before, Don Quixote, and this is one Rosalinda you're not about to rescue. A girl like that behind bars? That's like leaving vanilla ice cream in the sun. <laughs> I'm Jane Bell, Dr. Bell. I'm glad you came. May I sit? Please. I'm no gazelle, doctor, leaping from ledge to ledge in the dark, something to be tracked and classified. So please don't send for leads in what I say. Really, I'm not that difficult. But if it's your job to probe, then go ahead and probe. On the other hand, if you just want to visit, then let's visit. I'm neither depressed, nor obsessed, nor indecisive, nor tense, nor afraid. Actually, all I want to do is muss people's hair and show them how grateful I am to be alive. Who is your analyst? I give it up. Oh? Isn't there a higher purpose to living than peace of mind? I thought so, and Gustav understood. Gustav Lang? You've heard of him. I have his books. What made you go to him? Oh, it was father's idea. I was educated abroad, and he felt that, well, part of finishing school was to find a frame of reference for myself. So, your father sounds most perceptive. Yes. I loved him very much. Loved? The day was an ordinary day. The milk came at 7 and the papers at 7.30. Clocks ticked and things hung normally in closets. People got up and brushed their teeth and went to work in the city where I was. In 1,500 miles west of Lisbon, the ships that went searching wireless back that nothing was left, not even an oil slick. They say you're entitled to an oil slick, but this one went in very fast and very steep. Now, where in the world is there a headstone for my mother, my father, my brother, Ian, and my sister, Ellen? 
I'm sorry. Truly. At first I asked myself, where can I go for healing? Where can I find a tourniquet tight enough to stop the bleeding? So I told myself, let grief ride outside on a motorcycle of its own. Let it try and catch me. Let it cast shadows of its own. You know, Dr. Bell? I left a trail of buried albatross from coast to coast. How much a pound is albatross, Vicky? Nobody can afford it. So every day I grow lighter and greedier 